Hello, I'm Lisa Sorrell and this is totally intermittent videos about shoemaking tools and techniques. And today I'm going to talk about welt. So often when you buy welt, you will see that it says pre-slashed or maybe it will say it's not pre-slashed. I've got a piece of welt here and it is not pre-slashed. That means the back is just solid. Here's another piece of welt and it is pre-slashed. I'm going to zoom in on it just to make sure you can see. Alright, finally found an angle. There you can see those little cuts that are made in the back of the welt. And those are called slashes. And what those do is make it easier to go around a narrow toe so that the welt will bend. On my website I sell half inch shoe welt and that is not pre-slashed because shoes often have wider toes and don't necessarily need the slashing and also shoes frequently have narrower welt. The wider your welt is, the more important that slashing becomes. Now cowboy boot welt, on the other hand, tends to be wider because you're going to need a wider welt if you have a narrow square toe or something. And um, it's also more likely to have a narrow square toe, so therefore you need that slashing. And I'm going to show you how to do it if you end up with some welt that is not pre-slashed. First, I'll show you a boot that I just inseamed this morning. It's got kind of a narrow square toe, not too bad. And I was using some welt that wasn't pre-slashed, so I've just slashed it right in the toe area because that was really the only place that I needed it to make a sharp curve. Here's a little piece of leftover welt. First of all, I'm going to show you what not to do. This is not the way to slash your welt. When you just slice it into your welt this way, then when you're going around a toe, and there's tension on this to open up, those slices are going to want to continue tearing. And even if they don't, sometimes as you go around a toe, when the leather has to stretch this way, it also tends to compress this way. So you end up with less welt on the toe than you thought you were going to have. And then maybe because of these slices, it's not white enough and you end up not being able to sand out all of the slices. So this is not the way to do it. For multiple reasons, don't do it that way. What you want to do to slash your welt is take a very sharp knife and cut a slit in it at an angle like this. You want to go down to about Half the thickness of the welt is how deep you want that slice to go. And you want to do it in an angle as if you were skiving. You also want to extend that cut about half the width of the welt. There we go. That's what you want to do instead. You want to make little angled slices into your welt. That will help it open up and go around a narrow toe, but be much, much less likely to tear and ruin your welt or make your welt so much shorter that you really can't finish your shoe out nicely. But it will help the welt stretch and open up as it goes around a toe so that you can still make it around a toe but yet not have the danger of your welt tearing. And there you go. That's what you do if you have welt and it's not slashed and you need to go around a really narrow toe. 